Welcome back, fight fans. In today's video, ow! Oh, 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 sick, you guys. Oh. Dana White is absolutely fuming because Sean Strickland is now playing with fire, risking his health and potentially jeopardizing the much-awaited UFC 297 event. Strickland's recent viral clip has sent shockwaves throughout the MMA community, leaving fans buzzing with speculation. It just it blows my mind. It just blows my mind. Yeah. We also have Dana White promising to shake up 2024 with some mind-blowing ideas. What's up, guys? I just got back from vacation. Two fight announcements for you. And Dana also responded to the news that Francis Ngannou was getting another super fight. But before the fanatics had time to rejoice at the news, the date of the fight between Anthony Joshua and Francis Ngannou was postponed. And the UFC is to blame for this. So we're gonna see exactly just what the hell is going on here. Then at the end of the video, Bilal Muhammad is ready to fight Shavkat Rachmanov. So please hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and let's jump right into the action. What's up guys, I just got back from vacation. Two fight announcements for you. First, the co-main event in Miami, March 9th, UFC 299 will be number three ranked lightweight Dustin Poirier versus number 12 ranked Benoit Saint Denis. Saint Denis is on a five fight win streak with all five coming by finish before the third round. He's been saying that he believes he's the new BMF of the UFC and he'll have the opportunity to prove it against Dustin Poirier, who is an absolute savage and always goes to war. These two guys agreed to fight, but they both wanted a five round fight, so they got it. That is the co-main event of the Miami show. Next, for UFC 300. Number one ranked lightweight Charles Oliveira is taking on number four ranked Armin Sarukian in a number one contender fight. Oliveira was supposed to fight the champ Islam Makachev, but Islam is still recovering from an injury. So Sarukian is coming off a vicious knockout of Benil Darius. The winner will face Islam when he returns this summer. So there's two big fight announcements for you now. I'll have more for you Tuesday after uh, matchmaking. It's good to be back. See you Tuesday. Dana White is setting the stage for an action-packed 2024. In an intriguing Instagram story, White shared a quote by legendary music producer Rick Rubin, saying, maybe the best idea is the one you're going to come up with this evening. Dana also responded in an original way to the news that Francis Ngannou, whom he failed to keep in the UFC, received another super fight and will be sharing the ring with ex-world boxing champion Anthony Joshua. While the media began vying to report the fight between the Brit and the Cameroonian, Dana White went live on social media and made a statement about the UFC 300 event, which will be taking place on April 13th in Las Vegas. He revealed that while on vacation in Bali, he had been brewing numerous exciting ideas for upcoming UFC fights. Truth, I have had ton of them while on vacation. I get home tomorrow, and I'm going to destroy January and 2024. Some fans even began speculating that White's excitement could be related to the recent Francis Ngannou vs. Anthony Joshua fight announcement, saying Francis and AJ got him scared. Now, as you may know, the 10-round fight between Ngannou and Joshua was originally scheduled for March 9th in Riyadh. This date would have diverted fans' attention from the UFC 299 event, which was set to take place on the same day in Miami. However, recent news now has revealed that the Anthony Joshua vs. Ngannou fight date was postponed because of UFC 299. MMA junkie journalist Mike Bone reported this development. So it's not really postponed, it's actually been moved up a day. Now, UFC 299 is also going to be an awesome night of fights because in the main event, you have Sean O'Malley fighting Marlon Cheeto Vera. 
Earlier, there was some information that another welterweight title fight between Leon Edwards and Bilal Muhammad would be part of UFC 300, but the title fight has not yet been officially announced. And in case he does get a victory over Leon Edwards, Bilal Muhammad plans to enter the first defense of the title against Shavkat Rachmanov, who currently occupies third place in the top 10, saying, I won't let anyone jump the line. Shavkat will be next. We're here to create a legacy. We'll break all these dudes. My question is, can you give us any secret Dagestani tips on what's made your game improve so much? Uh, I think the mindset, like them guys, they just push you to another level. So whenever you think you're, you're done, Habib will make you go even more. And I think that's the difference between them and a lot of other teams and a lot of other people. Talking about Dagestan or where you're going to be, I know we're not sort of there yet in terms of a fight being announced. Um, are you planning on going there? Are you planning on training with Khabib? Is this uh, is there smoke where there's is the fi is there fire where there's smoke? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I'm definitely working on stuff right now, visa and stuff to go down there and train with the guys. The, you know, any chance I get to work with them, it's another level. So especially for this title fight, talking with him, talking with the guys over there, they're like, come down, get some work in. So gonna get some work in over there. I plan on getting at least four to five weeks down there at least we got so much time before this but obviously i'm not gonna leave the team i'm with mike valley moose taylor they're gonna be coming down with me so it all works out perfectly 35 year old Bilal muhammad is unbeaten in his last 10 fights and 29 year old rachmanov is just straight up undefeated and is on a streak of six early victories so if this fight ever happens i think it would be a really good one but hey what do you guys think about all this would you like to see this fight Leave your thoughts down in the comments. And then finally, the main topic of today's video, the recent clip featuring UFC middleweight champion Sean Strickland has gone viral on the internet, sparking significant buzz. An Instagram account posted a video showing a bruise on Strickland's side. A Twitter account called Marty's Hairline shared an apparent clickbait claiming that Strickland might be suffering from a staph infection. The user added that this could potentially jeopardize his upcoming fight at UFC 297. Another one stated that if the bruise was indeed from a staph infection, Strickland should withdraw from the fight and let a fight between Dracus Duplessis and Jared Cannonier be scheduled as a replacement for an interim title. Another fan wrote, Strickland is fine. Stop with the breaking headlines. You're just begging for clicks. Others believe that he was just straight up trying to avoid the fight with Drakus, saying, I hope Sean doesn't use this as an excuse for losing to DDP. Another fan wrote, Dana is salivating at the chance of getting a temporary belt with Izzy. But honestly, Dana White was probably pretty upset that one of his champions would jeopardize his health and consequently the main event of UFC 297. As you know, Dana dislikes situations where someone puts their health at risk. And as a result of the upcoming fight, it's unclear whether this injury will actually affect Strickland's upcoming fight against Duplessis. Although there seems to be no major cause for concern, as the injury itself is relatively minor. But I am confident that everything is fine. There's probably no reason to worry. It probably is all just about clickbait. So it will be interesting to see as to who will emerge victorious in this highly anticipated clash come January 20th. But what is your prediction? Who will win in this battle? Please leave your thoughts down in the comments as we are very interested to see what you all think about this. So that is all for today, folks. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to like and subscribe to the channel as it does help the development of the channel. So thank you very much in advance.